Hey guys, I'm Jill Powell. Thank you for joining me today. We are gonna show you this beautiful look. So we have some sparkles, some rose gold action going on, and I'm excited to show you this kind of fun, sparkly going out look. So I always begin with an eyeshadow base. It's honestly, you have to. You can't do eyeshadow without it. Like, you really can't. I mean, I do once in a while on my own self, but you know it's gonna crease by the end of the day, it's not gonna stay. So if you want it to stay, you definitely need to use some type of base or primer. These ones are the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer Sticks. I love these because you have your light, medium, and deeper skin tones, and they're super simple. You, like, no brushes needed. Go ahead and close for me. So you literally are just going to draw this right on. This one has more of a pink tone to it, which is totally fine because we're gonna apply shadow right on top, so you don't need um, it to be your exact skin tone, but it just is nice and warm. And I'm blending it out with my finger just so that it's spread out nice and evenly. I don't have too much product in one area. You see how easy that is? Just swipe it on and go. So good job, Sigma. I love something that's really easy as a mom, we don't have a lot of time, so you gotta do whatever you can to make things easy. And just turn your chin towards me a little bit. You can also blend this out with like a flat synthetic brush, but again, we're trying to go for ease today, so just using my finger is just fine. So I've decided to do kind of like a sparkly, fun, rose gold. It's inspired by her shirt. I have a little sparkle on today too, so we're gonna do something with a little sparkle. And of course, when I look in my kit and I think of sparkle, this has a nice sparkly case, and these shadows from the Sultry Anastasia, oh, beautiful sparkles. I just love them. So I definitely am gonna use this rose quartz color. I'm probably gonna be like right in here. I might not do this gold. I might do like kind of something in here. So I like to look at a palette and just feel it. So I'm feeling the rose quartz and we're gonna start there and see what we come up with. So using a flat brush, I'm gonna go in to rose quartz. I'm gonna apply this along her lid. So she doesn't have a huge lid space, which is totally fine. Um, so I'm gonna just accentuate it with a little bit of shimmer and shine. Makes it more fun. And as you can see, I'm turning my brush upside down, so I like to invert my brush for my lid color. I find that it just um, catches all of your fallout, and that way you don't get that fallout on your cheek. So I'm just pressing and lifting right at her lash line, so I get that very edges of the brush right to the lash line. Press and lift, press and lift. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. It almost has like gold flecks to it, so it's kind of that rosy gold color because it has those gold flecks. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And right on top of that base, the base is perfect for it because that base has the pink, so it just kind of goes. Like a little Barbie today. So repeating on the other side, inverting that brush, getting right close to the lash line, pressing and lifting, picking up more product as I go. Don't be shy with your eyeshadows. I find a lot of people don't apply enough. So especially if your shadow doesn't have a lot of pigment, these are super rich in pigment. So that's another reason why I love them. And then just turn your chin towards me. I'm just gonna get this outer corner here. All right, so we are applying this all along the lid. And I'm just, my pressure's getting lighter as I'm pulling up. And that way I'm getting that kind of soft blended look. I haven't blended the edges yet at all, but just kind of wanted to get it on there. So then taking some sort of fluffy blending brush. Oh, actually that last brush was the BH Cosmetics number five. 
And then I'm going to move in with number six, which is the blending brush from this set. So just blending that edge just softly. You don't really need to blend a lot. And then go ahead and open for me. I want to see how this is looking. Ooh, I like it already. Perfect. Okay, so now with Rachel, her lid is a little bit heavier. So we want to always check it in the mirror. You always want to see what you're working with. Not everybody has, you know, these perfect, beautiful taut lids. So with Rachel, I want to make sure that I'm peeking the color up a little bit in this area. So, and then with her lid, just bringing it up to really open up the eyes. I'm going to go in, I think with this cinder color. So another shimmer. And I'm going to bring this kind of on the outer part of the eyes to create a little bit of definition, but because it's shimmery, it's still going to reflect. And I'm just lifting a little bit and then open for me. So you can see I'm lifting to this area right here. So again, cinder and bringing that right in this area and just lifting. And open again. So pretty. So you want to see some of this sparkle and shine. We're doing a sparkly look. So a lot of people will do a matte crease, which I 100% agree when you want that crease to look like it's really defined. But this one we're going for a little bit of shimmer. So don't be scared. There's not no rules in makeup. You can do whatever you want. I am going to blend a little bit of a matte on the very edges but I do want to see some of that sparkle in her crease. All right, I'm also going to, just for fun, take a small brush and this pearl color, which is another sparkly color, and it's really, really light. I'm gonna bring this just on the inner corners and kind of press it on that inner corner of the lid. I just want that area looking nice and open. So a lighter color is going to open going to bring, bring it forward. Go ahead and open for me. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So right in this inner corner and then blending it into that lid color just ever so slightly. This palette is so pretty. I'm in love with the Anastasia palette. She's just, she can't do, she does no wrong, I swear. She can't do anything wrong. The pigment's beautiful, the colors, the sparkle, it's just so rich, so buttery, like the texture is just so pretty. Okay, and of course she's so smart, she has these kind of blending colors in here. So you always wanna blend matte and shimmer, always to get dimension. So I'm gonna take Fresh, which is a matte kind of bone color, and I'm gonna go right under the, I always start in the arch of the brow, so flat kind of shader brush, right in the arch of the brow, and just blending on that very edge of your crease. This will just give a nice diffused look and also make the brow pop. So right in the arch, press that in there. And then you can take your blending brush with residual, whatever residual product is on there and just make sure that transition's nice and smooth. And she's got green eyes, so anything with that like red, pink, um, even purples, anything with that red undertone is really gonna make her green eyes pop. So I'm super excited about how it's looking. I'm gonna take the Sigma primer and I'm gonna go underneath because I'm gonna blend some shadows underneath. A lot of times I'll do a waterproof pencil and then lay shadows on top, but this time we're gonna change it up. I've got a pencil primer stick, so we're gonna utilize it. So go ahead and look up for me and just going right under her lash line with the primer. Same thing on the other side. Just ever so slightly, you do not need a lot of product here. And then I need a small, very tiny smudger brush. So whatever you've got that's small enough. This one's really small, I do love it. Um, this one is Sigma L04, the detailed lip. Oh, it's for lips. I use it for eyes all the time. Hmm. Interesting. Again, no rules. 
use what you need. Where is my, there you go. So I, I typically like a, a smudger brush like this with this kind of dome shape. So we're gonna take some of these colors and just have fun underneath. So I'm gonna start with Pearl, which is that lighter one. We're gonna really hit that inner corner. Make it nice and strong. Remember, we're, we're going for sparkles today. Shimmer and shine. Okay, so I did that pearl color on the inner corner. And now I'm just going to sweep cinder, which is a color I didn't even use. Oh no, I did. We did that on the outer. So this is the crease color. And I'm just gonna sweep this along the whole bottom. And then on top, I will define it with a little bit of pencil. So this should stick to the primer and make it stay so that you don't get fallout, you don't get dropping. But you were saying that you, you have problems with your shimmer shadows kind of falling, right? I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. do you um, use a primer? No, that, mm. that may be the trick I need. That's the trick you need. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what you need. So a primer will help everything to like stick and stay and then you won't get that fallout. But if you do get fallout, I suggest dusting it away as, as fast as possible because mm -hmm. once the oils in your skin grab hold of the pigment, you'll get more of like a streak. But you just get them right away. So I'm gonna go in with a brown shimmery liner. Um, the reason why I chose this is because she's blonde, she has light eyes. We don't wanna do anything too harsh. This, this look is really pretty and sparkly and gold and champagnes and I don't know. So I think that the brown shimmer is going to create um, definition. Go ahead and look up for me. Um, create definition and make her eyes pop without taking away or making it too dark. Yeah, then turn towards me and look up. So we're just gonna define her bottom lash line with a little bit of pencil and I'm going right into the lashes. And then I'm gonna take that smudge brush that I just used Hopefully I can find it, here it is. And we're gonna smudge it. So it's got a little bit of the shadow left on there, which is perfect. We're just gonna smudge it so that it, it becomes one with what we just did. So I always take a step back and kind of see what we're working with. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit to the waterline. Um, so when I do the waterline, I have the client look all the way up to the ceiling. And then I'm just going to press and pull a little bit but I only want the waterline on the outer part of the eye. It's just what I see visually. I wanna keep that inner part nice and open. So you don't always have to line the entire waterline. You just need to make sure that it transitions properly. And with a brown shimmer liner, you get that soft kind of, yeah, that's what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Do you do liner on the top usually too? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna teach you a trick actually. Okay, so you said that you normally line your top lashes, mm -hmm. right? Because you want that definition. Yeah. So you don't have a ton of lid space when you open your eyes. So when you line your top, you take away most of your lid space, correct? Correct. Okay, here's my trick. So taking a waterproof black pencil, I'm gonna have you look down. This is gonna tickle, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But we're gonna lift up slightly and we are going to basically, this is called tight lining. So I'm going, I'm coloring in basically the roots of her lashes with a black liner. So she is going to get the definition of liner without eliminating any lid space. So again, very gently pressing and pulling. The inner corner tickles the most. So when I'm doing it on somebody else, I just do a little bit and then I take a step back and do a little bit. So, and then I'll have you look down and out towards me. Again, just lifting up and get this little inner corner. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I've gotten everything I need to get. So if you see the difference, this one, she has her lash line defined. It almost looks like she has mascara on, but there's no mascara yet. And then this one, she has nothing. So it hasn't taken away from her lid, but it's defined her eyes. So that is what you can do. It's called tight lining. And you can definitely do this to create an eyeliner effect without taking away from your lid space. All right, so the other side, look down, just lifting up ever so slightly. And it's right in those roots. So you basically take the pencil and wiggle 
You always want to make sure that your pencil is nice and sharpened. The last thing you want to do is have any of the, the wood or the plastic around the pencil scratching that area. So nice and sharpened pencil. I love a waterproof one. This is the Sephora 12 hour. I love these pencils. It's like 10 or 12 bucks. And that inner corner lets you blink a little bit so that you don't cry. And we're just gonna fill in the outside a little bit, a little bit more. Hopefully I'm not tickling you too bad. I know it does tickle though. So when you're doing this on yourself, I suggest looking down into the mirror. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so now you have eyeliner, but it has not taken away from your lid. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Totally. So when you do this on yourself, I want you to hold the mirror down here mm -hmm. and you're gonna, so you're right-handed? Yeah. Okay, so there's your right hand. So hold the mirror mm -hmm. and then you're basically going, to, well. I would have to sit it. You'd have to, yeah. So you'd have to have the, yeah. So then take that hand and you're just going to lift, actually go a little bit lower and lift like that. Do you see where I'm at? Uh -huh. And you're going to, yep, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Easy. Life-changing. Life-changing. Yes. I love it. We can be life-changing here, guys. Fantastic. There you go. So now you have eyeliner, but you also have an eyelid. Yeah. So it's not a smoky eye every day. That's right. There you go. We did it. That's <laughs> what we're about on a Jill Powell Glam channel here. Life-changing experiences. Life -changing. <laughs> okay. So we have that. Let's get some mascara on there. A little coat of mascara, get those lashes nice and strong. And then go ahead and look up for me. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit underneath. And when I do underneath, I either press and then pull away or I take the wand and just kind of dance along the bottom lashes and then just pull ever so slightly down. If you're working on a client, you always want them to look up because if they're looking straight at you, look, at, look straight ahead. And if I come in here, doesn't, don't you feel like I'm gonna poke you? Yeah. It's very uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have them look up, then you're out of sight. They'll feel so much more comfortable with you. It still tickles and it's still very close to the eye, but it's the most comfortable way to do it. I'm just kind of pulling those bottom lashes down. So we are gonna do a gloss on her lips today. And in true Jill Powell Glam fashion, I'm using two of them. So this one is the Becca Chrissy Glow Gloss, and it's more of like a neutral, really pretty neutral tone. Might even want a little more pink to it. It's got a lot of pigment in here. You know what, I don't like this one, sorry. Rewind. Okay, so we just tried one color on you. Super pretty nude, love it normally. This is the Becca Chrissy Teigen Glow Gloss um, in Beach Bum. I love this nude color, but it was too orange for our look. We have like a whole pink thing. I really want to kind of pull your lip color out. So when I put it on, it was like almost that peachy camel color. Didn't go. Wasn't feeling it. So we took it off. Guess what? It's makeup. You can take it off. Do not feel that you're stuck with it, especially when you're working on somebody else. Don't feel like you have to uh, finish. This one's kind of plum. I don't know. I'm gonna go grab another pink, more pink gloss. All right, third time's a charm, I promise. And I do have this champagne -y color, which might be too gold, we'll have to see. Yeah, there we go. I need some pink in my life, and this might balance it, actually. Ooh, this one's a liquid lip. Really, Jill? Really? I wanted you to be a gloss. It's okay, we are gonna work with it. This is gonna stay on, you want it to stay. So we're gonna work with it. Mm, this one might even be too orangey. Oh, that pink color. Come on, color, where are you? I know I've got her in my kit. This one's still too orange. So I'll tell you my story. Okay. I am the girl who puts like foundation on my lips to try and take it away. Lighten them. Okay. And then like a brown pencil, and it ends up being like the correct like twig ish 
pinkish. Ah, okay. Mauve. Is that weird? No. I feel like my lips are naturally kind of dark. They have a lot of pigment in them. Yeah, and so I end up trying to lighten them all the time and then sort of liner them and like you do. Like mm -hmm. it's like how many colors are yeah. you going to put on your Well, and right. and that could be why we're not, you know, every single single thing that I'm pulling on you is yeah. pulling a lot of orange. Yeah. It's Does that so happen? So hard. It's like impossible. And for it's me funny cuz your shade. lips have a beautiful color to them. So everything is just pulling really orange, yeah. which, all right, so what's opposite of orange in the color wheel? Do you know your colors? Um, it's okay. No. Union 76 ball, orange and blue. So, okay. or Broncos, some people know football. So you want something more blue undertoned, mm -hmm. and that's going to help it not. So the original color that I thought was going to be too dark, this one has more blue in it. Let's just, I mean, let's just see. I'm running out of wands here, but I can go grab some more. Or we can use a lip brush. Let's use a lip brush. Let's just see how this... Okay, we've got a really, really plummy, plummy... This is the one I thought was going to be too dark. Hmm. Oh my goodness, though. You're right. Okay, so you... Your, your skin pulls more orange, or your lips pull more orange. So you need to counteract that for some reason. With like a mauve or, mm -hmm. <clears throat> or a brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Has to be anything with that blue undertone. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because, yeah, this does not look, it's like changing even. It's even still pulling some, I can see some orange coming through. Mm -hmm. It's not orange, uh -huh. but that's so interesting. So everyone's lips are different. That's why I always suggest you try colors on. And we had to experiment. This was number four color that we tried on. Uh -huh. Yeah. But we figured it out. We figured it out. And I didn't do a liner. You can, I would, I mean, you definitely can. Um, one way, like you said, you can color correct your lips, put some foundation on them, line, again, with a plumier or brown toned lip liner. But this one, I just wanted like a, a soft, pretty gloss. And then I was going to do that shimmer, but this one has a little bit of shimmer. That's like the perfect nude on you. I'm actually going to give you, I cheated your lips a little bit. They're bigger than this. There we go. Don't cheat. There we go. So pretty. Okay. Well, there we go. We found it. It took a few times, but we found it. So that wraps up our eyes. Just to recap, always use a primer. It makes everything stick. We went ahead and used that shadow stick. Um, Sigma base eyeshadow base primer. Super easy, super quick. You can put it on and blend it out with your finger. We inverted the brush for our lid color to help prevent fallout, added a little bit of shimmer on the outside. Again, she had a heavier lid, so I wanted the shimmer to peek ahead. I know a lot of people won't do shimmer in the crease. Don't follow every rule that you hear. I wanted to see some shimmer, so we went ahead and brought it up a little bit. We did a matte brow highlight so that you're contrasting some matte and some shimmer. We brought a little bit of lightness towards the inner corner of the eyes to really open them up. We did primer underneath the lash line and some shadows there with a shimmery brown pencil because she's blonde, light eyes. We didn't want to take away too much. And off camera, I went ahead and finished with a pair of lashes. We just did some natural ones just to give a little extra. And don't forget, I tight lined the top line. So the top lash line is a black waterproof liner in the roots of the lashes to not take away from her lid space. So there you have it, a little sparkle, a little rose gold shimmer. If you wanna go out for New Year's, if you wanna do a Christmas look, if you wanna just be sparkly and shiny, I love to just add a little bit of glitz and glamor to an everyday look. So there you have it. Thanks again for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what you wanna see next. All of the products used in my video are also linked below. And if you wanna see more, follow me anywhere at Joe Powell Glam. Thanks again.